Hi, I am Siri. Would you like to know how everything was created? Now I can reveal everything. Let's start, shall we? Okay. In the beginning Steve created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form. Void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of Steve moved upon the face of the waters. And Steve said, let there be iPhone and there was iPhone. And Steve saw the iPhone, it was good and Steve divided the iPhone from the other stupid phones. And Steve called the smartphone iPhone, and the other stupid phones he called garbage. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And Steve said, let there be a mouse in the midst of the Mac, and let people use it to divide the Mac from the PCs. And Steve made the mouse, and divided the Mac which have mouse on the side of the Mac from the PCs which have no mouse and it was so. And Steve called the mouse, Magic Mouse, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And Steve said, let the music on heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the iTunes appear and it was so. And Steve created iPod and he was gathering together all the music for the people and Steve saw that it was good. And Steve said, let the earth bring cartoons, Toy Story, Pixar, and let Woody and Buzz come alive and it was so. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And Steve said, let there be lights in the iPhone's camera to divide the pictures in the day from the pictures in night and let them be four signs, and four seasons, and four days and years. And let the camera be also in the front of the iPhone and it was so. And Steve made two great cameras, the front camera rules the day, and the back camera rules the night and he made the stars also. And Steve set the stars in the firmament of the heaven to give more light to the pictures taken and to divide the light from the darkness. And Steve saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And Steve said, let the music be more available to the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may listen to music above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And Steve created the iPod Nano for every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And Steve saw that it was good. And Steve blessed them, saying, Be useful and multiply and fill the app store with applications. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And Tim Cook said, Let us make iPhone in Steve's image, after his likeness, and let it have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So Tim created iPhone 5 in Steve's image. In the image of Steve. And Tim blessed it and Tim said into it, be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And Tim said, Behold, I have given you the airpods which are earphones, but better. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creeps upon the earth, wherein there is music, I have given you that airpods and it was so. And Steve saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good, and the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day they ended their work which they had made, and they rested on the seventh day from all their work which they had made. And Steve blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it. Would you like to be Steve Jobs Jr.? Do you think you've got the next great iPhone app idea? Click the link below the video for more details.